Do you want to know more about model railroad operations? Why don't you stick around and watch this segment and see how we do it on my Inscale Model Railroad, the Sayer Secondary. Hello everyone, Joe from Central Jersey Conrail and Inscale and welcome back to the Operation Series. So this time we're going to be operating the new train, the WJSA-33. WJSA-33 calls out of Browns Yard and services all the industries on the Amboy Secondary down into Dayton. Okay, so the crews already got their train together and they performed their air brake test. So why don't we go over and meet them over in Browns Yard and we'll go over our paperwork and get to work. Okay, everyone, so here's our train for today. Um, it's a short train. We're going to be heading down to Dayton. We have uh, three cars we need to drop off, uh, two tank cars to BASF and one box car to uh, RJR Foods. We're going to be picking up two tank cars out of BASF and bringing back two box, uh, refrigerated box cars out of RJR Foods. We have uh, our fourth car is our end of train device, which I apologize, the battery died. So we're not going to have any flashing light, but it's there. Okay, so our locomotive that we're going to be using today is a Atlas GP15-1, number 1645. It has ESU look sound installed. Um, so, let's get our Form D and get rolling. Okay, so our Form D is going to be C1112 C&E, number 1645, crew of the SA-33. Circle line 2, operate in both directions on single track between milepost 8 and milepost 18. Dispatcher is JD. Time effective on the fast clock is going to be 11.04 hours in the morning. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and get our train moving. Okay, so we're at BASF. Uh, this is going to be our first stop here. Uh, we got to pull two tank cars, and also there's two cars that got to be held in uh, place. You have those two white ones in the front. So we're going to pull the string out, take the two in the back out, and then we'll put everything back in, and the white ones will end up in the back. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is set a handbrake on the uh, solid gold car. We're going to uncouple and we'll pull forward. All right. So our brakeman's going to get off and operate the turnout. Conductor's going to get on the rear uh, for the push. All right, 1645, turnout's line for BASF. Conductor's on the rear, brakeman's on the ground. Push back two car lengths to a hitch.
one half on a pin. All right, so we are going to couple and connect. Now we gotta release four handbrakes. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start pulling this string out. Um, but I'm not gonna be able to pull the whole thing out because I've got enough room. So we're gonna, this is what we'll do. All right, hold up right there, 1645. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the black tank car there and we'll pull the blue one out and put it in the string on the main. That'll give me some room to work. Gonna have to set a handbrake on the black tank car. All right, so now we'll pull forward and uncouple. All right, brakeman's gonna shift that turnout. And we're gonna back up. One, six, four, five, conductors on the ground, push back, four car lengths. Two more. One more. One half. On the pin. Now we're gonna have to release the handbrake on that uh, core. And we're going to push this whole string back, make some room. Now I'll set the ha handbrake on the blue tank car. I'm gonna pull forward and uncouple. Now we'll go in and grab that black tank car. All right, release that handbrake. One, six, four, five, pull four, three car lengths. Okay, brake is gonna shift that turnout. One, six, four, five, turnout's line for the main, conductor and brakeman on the ground, push back four car lengths to a, put, to a hitch. One more. 
one half. That's good. Now well, couple and connect. We're gonna release the handbrake on the tank car, the blue one, and we're gonna push back. That's good right there. Set that handbrake on the black tank car. All right. One, six, four, five, pull four, three car lengths. right there all right conductors now this string here is all set to go right back in BASF all right one six four five turn us line for the BASF conductors on the rear brakes on the ground push back five car lengths to my mark One more. One half. That's good right there. All right, conductor's gonna get off, start setting four handbrakes. Okay. All right, so now we're going to pull forward. Now I got to go grab my train and pull forward so I can run around it. All right, brakeman's going to set that turnout and lock it for me. Back up and pick up the rest of our train. All right, so we're going to couple and connect. We'll release the handbrake on a black tank car. Crew's going to get on a locomotive. We're going to move down. We're going to set a handbrake. We're going to move forward.
All right, we got to release the handbrake. All right. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is push forward and drop these two tank cars down here on the main to get them out of the way. And I'm hovering the work. So let's do it. Okay, set a handbrake on the blue tank car. And then we'll pull forward, back up. Now I'm going to pull them two uh, reefers out of uh, RJR Foods. Break is going to open that turnout. One, six, four, five. Turnout's line for RJR. Break on the ground, conductors on the rear. Push forward to my mark. One more car length, one half. On the pin. All right, conductor's gonna walk back and release two handbrakes. All right, one, six, four, five, pull back four car lengths. One more. Two more. One more. Keep coming. That's good on the pen. All right. So we already got a handbrake set, so we don't got to do it now. So I'm going to uncouple. All right, one, six, four, five, pull back two car lengths. It's good right there. All right, Brick, I'm going to open that turnout. One, six, four, five, turnout's line to RJR. Conductor's on the rear. Push forward to my mark. One more. One half. That's good right there. All right. I'm gonna set a handbrake. All 
We're going to do this maneuver. At least the handbrake on the blue tank car. We're gonna back up, pick up that box car out of RJR Foods, and our train will be assembled. One six four five turnouts line for RJR Foods. Push back to my mark. Two more. One more. One half. Good right there. On the pin. All right. I'm going to back up. Alright, brakeman uh, line to lock the turnout. Now our train's in position to do our air tests. So let's go over our paperwork. Okay, so before we do our air test, let's go ahead and take care of our paperwork. So I'll put the, uh, the waybills in the bill boxes that we need. Then I'll clip them back together for the ride home. So we got all of our car cards taken care of. I'll check over our switch list, make sure we got all of our work done, we're all set. So now let's get our uh, air brake test done and we can head on back. Okay, so we're gonna start our air brake test. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to air up the train line. Okay, so we're all set. We're at 90 PSI. All right, one, six, four, five, give me a set. All right, pressure's holding at 68 PSI. We're gonna confirm it on the EOT at 65. Crew's gonna walk the train and inspect all the brake shoes. Brake one not applied, car one set out. All right, thanks, Ed. Another fault. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have to uh, kick this car out of the string, like it says. All right, so we're gonna set the handbrake on that reefer. I'm back up. And we'll go rejoin our train. All right, we'll release the handbrake. All right. We'll charge the train line. All right, so the airline is charged. We're gonna go ahead and set our brakes. One, six, four, five, give me a set. All right, pressure at 69 PSI. We're gonna confirm it on the EOT. It's a 67. Now we're gonna inspect. Crew's gonna walk and check and make sure all the uh, brakes are applied. One, six, four, five, that's a good set. Give me a release. Brakes are released. Now we're gonna inspect all the shoes to make sure they're released. 
Test complete, T test successful. All right, and with that, we're ready to head on back to Browns. Okay, so crew is back in Brown's yard. Uh, they're going to go off the clock. Uh, cancellation on the form D is going to be 1434 hours in the afternoon. Okay, everyone, so there you go. That's how we did it, the WJSA 33. That was fun, quick. Um, just as I kind of figured out during the op session because the operators got to run this first. Um, only three and a half hours on the fast clock. So um, that was fun. It was nice, short. It would be good to do on an afternoon to keep yourself busy. Overall, this section's running really good. Um, I think I got the problems all solved, uh, working with uh, Chris Despoto because he ran this, uh, pointing out things. I think we uh, took care of those. So yeah, the, I don't know if Ed's constantly updating and adding new things because I've never seen that fault on the air brake test come up before that the shoes wouldn't set. So uh, that, that threw me for a loop. I kind of stuttered there at the video. So we just did what the instruction said, kicked it out and I put it on the runaround. So we'll contact shop forces. They'll come out here, fix the car and uh, it can move on uh, after that. So I just made sure I put the uh, way bill in the uh, runaround spot because this bill box has three, one for each industry and then the off spot, which is the runaround. And so that's all I have for you this time. Uh, if you're seeing this video for the first time and you like model railroad operations, please subscribe to our channel because I'm always doing videos like this. Uh, otherwise, uh, make sure you check out our Facebook page and Instagram account because I'm always posting daily updates. And uh, tune in next month uh, when we do our yard ops. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.